most everyone knows the benefits of CBD. And we've got some great news for you. There's something even better and it's just recently been made legal and even better yet, it's less expensive. We must get off this single magic bullet bandwagon. We must appreciate the full gamut of all of these phytocannabinoids as a whole and that they complement each other because CBD is not the answer to support the endocannabinoid system as a whole. body produces cannabinoids similar structurally to the cannabinoids found in cannabis and your body feeds off of them and if you don't produce enough to feed every single receptor various conditions various illnesses will ensue thousand five hundred milligrams of CBD chronically administered so this is not an acute thing chronically administered over time showed it was well tolerated minimal to no adverse reactions on physiological functions psychological functioning uh, other parameters in the body including blood pressure on down so it is quite well tolerated in humans I have not seen any compounds, natural compounds, this clinically relevant since the inception of this, of this industry. And I can tell you that targeting the endocannabinoid system, supporting it, will dominate medicine and nutrition over the next couple of decades.